Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. In the last episode, we killed all of our Dark Brotherhood family members. There's Ochiva. We also leveled up and became a vampire, by the way. Hello. You did nothing. You just watched it happen. You just watched. Those cold, lifeless eyes. We have Antoinette Marie, who wouldn't eat the poison apple and was extremely annoying. We have Mirage Dar, who took an arrow to the face. In fact, did we take that arrow back? I don't think we did, but it's gone. I can't find it. We have Gogran Gro Balmog, who was difficult. We have Vicente Valtieri. We have Talendril. We have Tainava. Schemer did nothing either, but it's okay because you're a rat and rats are the best. And I think that's everybody. Buddy, we didn't go into the trading room, or was this the trading room? Huh. Yeah, anyways, regardless, they all lie dead. They are all dead. And now we are going to return to Lucian Lachance and get our reward, which, if I remember right, is should be the one. Should be the one, and especially if you guys have not played. Look at our vampire kitty. Yeah, not so much a burnt Cheeto now, are we? Because we're all pale. We're like a white cheddar Cheeto. They make those, right? And they're lighter than the normal one. Uh, we get all these different powers for being a vampire. Also, we should take sun damage, I think. But there are different stages of being a vampire, just like there are in Skyrim. There are in Skyrim, right? Uh, I don't even remember. But we're not taking sun damage yet, obviously. And it works the same in Skyrim. You have to feed on um, human beings, humanoid creatures, suck their blood... Or your vampire uh, powers strengthen, but you also get bigger negatives. And I just remember it was not worth it. I just remember feeling like, man, this is so annoying being a vampire. But we'll see, because I have literally not played as a vampire in The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion uh, since first playing this game way back when. Also, apparently when we pull this lever, all of the uh, skeletons and stuff die. You see, they just fell. Yeah. The Ritual of Purification is complete. Well done. Sithis has been appeased, and the time has come to acknowledge and reward your unwavering loyalty. The Black Hand is most pleased with your progress. You have been invited to share in secrets that few within the Dark Brotherhood even know exist. Your life in the Sanctuary is over. Those contracts are behind you. Now, you will serve the Black Hand. You will serve me. From this moment forward, you will walk in the shadows as my silencer. You will receive contracts only from me. Your new life has begun. All hail Sithis. All hail the Void. Hail Sithis indeed, my child. Now listen closely. No longer will you receive your orders directly. Instead, you will visit Secret Dead Drops. Your next contract can be found at the Dead Drop on Hero Hill, southeast of here. A hollow in the moss-covered rock contains all you need to know. When you leave here, we will not speak again unless I deem it necessary. Ah, yes. There is one last thing. I have for you a very special gift. Waiting just outside is a magnificent steed named Shadowmere. She has served me well. I present her now to you as a token of my trust and love. Now go, and may Sithis guide you in this new stage of your life's dark journey. Yep, that's right. We get Shadowmere, our good old friend from Skyrim, who... So obviously it's female in this game, and I know I always made this mistake, but I'm pretty sure they changed the genders in Skyrim, right? So it's male in Skyrim and then female in this one, I think. It's not Shadow Mare, like Shadow Female Horse. It's Shadow Mere, so... Don't know. Anyways. 
The Black Hand is the Dark Brotherhood's ruling council. That hand consists of four speakers and one listener. Four fingers and a thumb, as it were. This you already know. What is not commonly known among our family members is that the Black Hand employs a few <laughs> additional numbers. As every hand has fingers, does not every finger have a nail, a claw, a talon? Every finger of the hand, every speaker has such a nail. These are the silences. Each speaker employs his or her own private assassin to extend their reach and strike forth as necessary. My previous silencer perished while fulfilling a contract. That emptiness has now been filled by you. It is an honor without equal. Okay. Go now, child of Sithis. Walk in the shadow of fear and bring glory to our dread father. I'll do my best, Lucian. Alrighty. And so ends, I guess, the first chapter, you could call it. Of the Dark Brotherhood, which is interesting because were this Skyrim, that would have been the end of the quest line because the quest lines were so dang short and not satisfying. I mean, they were satisfying, but just not like the Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion is. So, yeah, there's a whole new section. And again, for those of you that have never seen this game or played this game, you probably thought this was the end, but no, no. We've now got dead drops that we need to go to, find our uh, objectives. And carry them out however we're going to be taking a break from the dark brotherhood for now and we need to find shadow mirror who should be somewhere outside that's not shadow mirror oh i think it's by the door right yeah hello in fact uh let's get a good thumbnail when we can like right about there and then what is it toggle menus boom yeah all purplish but yeah uh shadow mirror in oblivion looks quite different um very very purple as you can see and eyes that are super red but i think they're red in skyrim as well it's been a while so i don't remember but this is shadow mirror and i think it's the best horse in the game which is wonderful so we're gonna get on top of it and i think you know now it makes this my horse uh yeah i'm pretty sure shadow mirror is the best and yeah this horse is just leaving now which probably means that uh, Shadow Mirror is our horse, and she will travel with us wherever we go. Um, I think she's fast. I think she's strong, meaning she's got uh, a lot of health. Yeah, I think it's the best, but I could be wrong. Regardless, this is the last time that we'll do a Dark Brotherhood quest for a while. So we'll read this so you guys remember where, where what we are currently doing. According to Lucian Lachance, I will now receive my contracts as well as any rewards I may be owed by visiting secret dead drop locations scattered around Cyrodiil. My next contract can be found in a hidden hollow inside the moss-covered rock on top of Hero Hill, which is to the southeast of Fort Farragut. So... There's Hero Hill, and a very clear memory in my mind is always getting Shadowmere and immediately riding her over to Hero Hill. The, de the, the developers probably intended to put this thing so close to Fort Farragut to show you that you should ride Shadowmere and get used to it if you hadn't had a horse up to that point, which is good game design. Anyways, let's take a look at what we have here. Tears of the Savior. Uh, this one is interesting. This is about the uh, frozen tears or whatever that that Khajiit was talking to us about. Seeking your roots. This is about the Nern root, but we might as well just wait until we have 30 Nern root um, because that is the whole quest. Once we start this off, we just need to find 30 Nern root. Whom gods annoy? Those. This is the uh, Everscamp quest, which, by the way, a, a lot of people were commenting, and I never realized this. You can use the scamps basically as Shadowmere in Skyrim, meaning that you can constantly hit them with blades or bows or whatever your weapon of choice is, and they'll keep respawning. So you can upgrade your abilities that way, uh, which we might do because I would like to get 100 in all of my stats. So... I think we won't complete this now um, because Oblivion seems like more a pain in the ass than even Skyrim was in terms of raising your abilities to 100. So we'll hold off on this for now. The Path of Dawn. That is the main quest. Pilgrimage. That is Knights of the Nine. 
Independent thievery, doesn't matter. Forlorn Watchmen. Ooh. Caught in the Hunt. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, let's actually... Yeah, let's return. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to return to Dunbarrow Cove, which was by Anvil, right? Dunbarrow Cove. Yeah, hopefully... Man, if there's no shortcut, that's really disappointing because that sounds like something that would have been excellent for a thieves hideout like this. But this is our... Oh, wait, a nerd move there. Oh, I guess that's the one everybody was talking about that I missed uh, the first time we came around to Dunbarrow Cove. How did I miss that one? It's like right out in the open. But every time we came here, it was raining quite heavily, if I remember right. Can we spot any more on the coasts? There's definitely probably more around there or around there. But for now, we'll head back into our secret thieves' lair. Actually, wait. No. Before we do that, we have a quest for Dunbar uh, Dunbarrow Cove. Where we should be able to buy more upgrades. And now that we've garnered a little bit more money, um, I think we're about at 7,000 gold. I think we can spend some more to upgrade our... Where's this leading me? I think we can, uh, we can spend a little bit more gold to upgrade our digs. I would like to see a fully upgraded Dunbarrow Cove. Like I said, ideally we'll fully upgrade every single... This is Anvil, by the way. I don't think we've been to Anvil too much. But it's a nice little port town with pirate ships and things. To you. Hopefully the new owners will clean yeah, everybody just talk at once. That's good. Yeah, so no one can hear each other. New topic, Velwyn Benarus. That is actually not sounding familiar to me at, at all. I don't know what that is. I hope I can help. You can indeed. Who is Velwyn Benarus? That layabout? You can find him wasting time at the Count's Arms. Where spirits have lease. <gasps> oh. I think I know what quest that is. Dunbarrow Cove upgrades. Let's do business. Let's do business. So, what can we get? We can get a fence, a Fletcher, which is an arrow maker, an expert. Oh, a security expert. That That's completely useless to us. Spy master, supplier. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the... One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Five thousand gold. I guess we'll just buy everything. I need to hire a supplier. Pleasure doing business with you. Wait, there's no way to upgrade just the place? I guess that's the whole identity of Dunbarrow Cove is just having lots of different services that you can use. Let's do business. But the other places have that too, I think. I'm looking for a spy master. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't like how you say that line. It gives me the creeps. Let's do business. Um, I need a fence. Pleasure doing business with you. Stop saying it like that with you. Let's do business. Uh, Fletcher. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, man, this is the new. <laughs> Climbing back and we'll be off. A pleasure doing business with you. Ugh. Let's do business. <laughs> I, see, I seriously can't stand it. All right, I need a security expert. Pleasure doing business with you. Mm. Is that it? Bless. Take care. Is our quest going to be upgraded? Whoa. Due to the prestige of your crew, the pirate. Whoa. Scurvy John Hoff. And the other one was green something. The pirate Yinzer has joined. Whoa, this is cool. I've definitely fully upgraded this at some point, but I don't remember this. I've completely upgraded Dunbarrow Cove and hired on a full crew. Once a week, the pirates who follow me will provide me with my share of their plunder. In order to send them out, I must speak with one of them to send them on a mission. They will return to Dunbarrow Cove in one week with my share of loot. That is so cool. I forgot about that. I hope I can. I totally forgot about that. Oh, God. I'm so glad that I... I'm so glad that I went and upgraded this because I thought we were going to have... I thought it was like multiple, um, you know, multiple like dig upgrades. You know, multiple like upgrade this quarter, upgrade that quarter. But no, it's just like uh, hiring people and then getting a better crew. So it is quite unfortunate though because um, in terms of, you know, the actual look of the place, it doesn't look that cool. Maybe it does upgrade the place as well when you hire people. But it's pretty bare bones, I think, in terms of, uh, in relation to the other 
um, player player homes that we'll see in due time. Regardless, let's head in. Needs a key with smuggler's key. I guess that's the uh, shortcut then. Oh wait, no, that's right. This leads to. This is Castle Anvil, isn't it? So when you play Oblivion, you always have to remember that there's banisters that you can activate. Uh, which I thought I saw for a second. Was that not one of these? Yeah, you see that? There we go. Yeah, there's banisters that you can activate um, just like that, and they lead to certain places. This should be Castle Anvil, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we've already been through here, but that's so cool that it gives you a little shortcut into... Uh, yeah, the dining hall, that makes sense. I thought it was the dining hall for the, uh, for the ship. Okay. I wonder if the ship has a name or if we have to name it ourselves, which we will, of course. Maybe it's the Dunbarrow? I don't know if it actually has a name. Maybe you guys can enlighten me in the comments. Alrighty, so this is the place. It's fully upgraded now. Like I said, I mean, everything looks kind of similar. It's more well lit, though. So that's cool. Who do we have here? Tom well Blackwell. Met. Tom Kench, more like. Alien ruins? Oh, the big thing is to watch out for the traps. Thousands of years old and still working. Amazing. Okay, let's see. What can this guy do? He can train I us. I can show you some new things. He can train us in security. Um, what is our level? Skill expert. This character cannot help you train any higher, so... Yeah, that's completely useless. But he can... I can interest you in some of my wares. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this. He sells a whole bunch of different security spells. Wrathwind? That's oh Wraithwind, sorry, that that's a cool name for a spell. Uh Only what do you have here? Goods for sale here. Probably lockpicks, right? In? Po potion of magnification? Fortify security, 20 points for 10 seconds on self self. Oh my god, I cannot talk these past two episodes. Yeah, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. 20 points and 15 points. Okay, and then just okay. Pretty lame. Um, all right. Well, thank you. You're going to be completely useless to me, but I appreciate it. Oh, look at that. He's got a training chest, too. Huh. It says it's illegal to open, but... Oh, wow. Look at that. No, stop. Go to the auto attempt, you son of a bitch. Wow, look at this. We can just, just keep doing this until our security is, uh, 100. It might be faster to actually, you know, pick it, but wait a second. Once our skill is, okay, let's get out of here. Show me my mouse. Gosh, darn it. Uh, once we get to a hundred lock pick with the 40 bonus of the, um, skeleton key, then we're obviously not going to be able to raise it anymore, but we're all, we, we can't remove the skeleton key, or maybe we can't... I'm saying we can't get our skill naturally to 100, which might be a bad thing. I'm not sure just yet. Okay, let's talk to everybody else. Who else do we have? That was the security expert. We also have Scurvy John Hoff. Go on. Who can't die, interestingly enough. I want you to head out and plunge... Actually, I don't like you, and I don't want to talk to you. Dude, I'm literally your captain. What the hell are you talking about? I want you to head out and plunder. Of course. Yeah, that's more like it. Ah, oh, that's not interactive at all. Oh, they all leave. Okay. Well, good luck, crew. We have to remember to come back here every week. I'm not sure how much gold. I think I remember that it's not that much gold, but, you know, it's a nice little bonus. What? Coven Kren. This must be the... Is there anywhere in Tamriel you... Who is this? Let's see if we can't teach you a thing or two. Oh, this must be the Spy Master. Okay, so he can train us as well. There is training in Oblivion, if you guys were not aware. Um, I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Ooh, now that's probably a really good spell to get. Alluring Gaze. Yeah. Okay, we gotta remember to use that. Uh, just a bunch of sneak stuff, obviously. Invisibility. That could come in handy. It's a little pricey, though. Chameleon. Uh, you don't have enough magicka. Okay. But I should have enough magicka for the other one. Yeah, okay. Come back. And what do you have for what sale? What can I interest you in? Bunch of light armor, huh? Gauntlets of the Manhunter. Mage Hunter's helmet. Silenced boots. Interesting. 
All right, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Farewell. Okay. Uh, we should have a... Yeah, the Fletcher, that's right. What can I do for you? Mellowin, hi there. You can find Cairn Bolet growing in caves. They're said to mark the place someone has died. This is actually a pretty NPC. They actually made a decent... It's like the Sandra Bullock of Oblivion. <laughs> Let's see if we can't teach you a thing or two. Okay, so she can train us in marksmen. Have a look around. You bunch won't of, find better prices in all Tamriel. Bunch of fortify marksman ability type type stuff. Stalker's instinct. Fortify sneak and marksman. Um, Have a look for around. Sale. Arrow you of apathy. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I love that name. I'm not going to buy any of this stuff just yet, but what's the blizzard bow? Frost damage 8 points. In 20 feet on strike. In 20 feet? Does that mean it's an AoE attack? Huh. Okay. Goodbye. And I think that I think that's about it, because the other three guys went on the mission, and we only hired three people, right? Wait, what were the other... Up we hired, like... F no, we hired, like, a fence, too? Yeah, 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 we hired a fence, and... Yeah, they must be down here or something. Okay, let's just see if they're on the top of this. No, did we miss anybody? That's the security expert and sneak expert and marksman expert. Yeah, there should be two more people because we hired five people. One is a fence, I know that. God, this looks so depressing, this place. <laughs> um, trap door to the black flag. Where does this Hello. go? Hi. Good day. Hello. Jack Silver. Nibane is a region of mixed farmland, parkland. Amazing, dude. Thank you for You've telling me that. You've got a lot to learn. Oh, interesting. He teaches us speechcraft. Let's do business. Okay, what do you have? A hundred lockpicks. Huh. All right, let's see. I need to sell that. Oh, the reason I took the human blood was because I'm, I wasn't sure if we could actually use that um, to stave off our hunger. I don't know if it works the same way as the blood potions in Skyrim, but we'll see. Um, let's see. Respite. Disbelief. No thanks. A good price for a good customer. Uh, let's see. What do I want to sell to you? Gold nugget. Yeah. That's all I can sell to you? Thank you for... This must not be the, uh... The fence, although it looks like he's selling a bunch of goods. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, it fully stocks things that we can take for free. Huh. Interesting. All right, what else do we have down here? There's another trap door leading further down. Okay, where does this go? Just a bunch of chests. Ooh, yes, don't mind if I do. I guess we should be taking the lock the lockpicks if we ever do want to raise our lockpick uh, naturally. Man, my nose is itching like crazy. Ah! Stop itching! It's like really bad. It's like a 8 out of 10 itch. Okay, well we'll see who the last guy is then because something tells me this guy isn't the fence, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm on the fence about it. <laughs> Oh, me. No! Okay. Alright, here's the captain's quarters. I don't know why there would be somebody in our captain's quarters. It's not like we hired a lady of the night. I don't think that was an option. Yeah, these captain's quarters are so shitty, man. Look at this. There was a fifth person, right? Okay, well, this is the chest we're storing everything in, right? Yeah. Oh, Nern root. Oh. Okay, interesting. We have to remember to tally the Nern route. All right, what do we want to store here? Axe of Hazards. Pretty sure that is unique. Uh, Blade of Woe. Uh, I don't think we actually can even store that. I think it tells us that uh, we can't store unique things. Chillrend. Langer Wine Blade. Rose of Sithis. Let's see. You want to keep uh, the bow and the dagger. Boots of Bloody Bounding. Foot pads boots. I feel like that is not unique. I'm going to sell that. Uh, unless you guys leave a comment telling me, no, GV, it is, and then in which case I won't. Kovach Curus. 
Deceiver's Finery. Yeah, we might as well keep that if we need to uh, convince somebody. Uh, keep all that. Let's see. Need to store Roderick's poison wherever it is. Uh, 13. So we have a total of 17 Nern Root. Poison Apples will store two. Poison Apples do come in handy. You can use them on anybody, but um, I think we can take them out regardless. Okay, let's store all the books as well. Uh, let's see. The Black Arrow version 2. Okay, these are all keys, and then we just have miscellaneous, I think. Common Soul Gem, Greater Soul Gem, good. Argonian Heart, goodbye. Alien Statue we want to hold on to. Calipers, though. Uh, paintbrush. Roderick's Medicine. And we're good. All right. Yeah, there should be one more person. Um, I guess we'll spend the rest of the episode looking for them. I didn't really plan to make this whole episode... You know, doing the sort of thing we were doing in Skyrim where every now and then we were taking some time to uh, settle and uh. get all our affairs in order. But it's probably important to do that at least once. There should be one more guy, right? Why can't I remember who he was supposed to be? We only talked to four people, but we spent 5,000 gold. And then the other three guys just uh, were a part of this thing automatically. I don't think he's going to just be hiding out in the caves. That doesn't make much sense. Bacon. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, a boar comes as well. Huh. Who was it? Well met. Well met. The How Fletcher. Is there someone in this corner that we didn't talk to? See, it worries me because the other guy fell down. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. My nose is itching so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just talked to a Fletcher, right? We just talked to the Fletcher over here. Or did they just teleport? Yeah, they were literally right here, weren't they? And now they're on the boat. I thought that was the other person. Good evening. Good tidings, citizen. Huh. All right. Well, I have no idea. I think we are missing somebody, but I don't know where to find them. And my nose. Oh, my God. Thank God we only have a little bit left because this is like a this is a like almost a, an emergency. It's itching so bad. I wonder if it's because of the vibrations of me talking. Are, you're not in here, are you? What the hell? Well, I'm sure y'all are gonna leave comments, but um, I'm going to you know figure out when I edit. What the hell was that? Did you guys see that? I think that was, uh, like a fire spell or something. All right, for the remainder of this episode, we got about a minute and 40 seconds. Let's scour the coast for some Nurn Root. We only need about 13 more before we can find Cinderion. Who, by the way, is in Skyrim, just so you know. Yeah, let's see how prevalently, which is not a word, I don't think. The Nurn Root spawn when you just go against the coast like this. And I can also say, aha! 18th Nurn Root. And I can also itch my nose and rub my... Oh, God, it feels so good, though. It feels so, so good to rub your nose when it's got a huge itch like this. All right, let's find at least one more. Oh, look at that. There's an Oblivion portal over there. A gate to Oblivion. Which I guess it is kind of our job to shut. Yeah, it's right up there. Let's look at it. Because I'm definitely not doing anything outside of recording right now. Like itching my nose. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really much of a point right now to close random oblivion gates. Because it's kind of like a dry, uh, dragon in Skyrim. I was about to say a dry room. It's kind of like a dragon in Skyrim where... Uh, you know, they, I, from what I understand, they just randomly spawn, except for the ones outside of the city gates. Those are unique. Aha! Uh, those are unique. 
but the ones that we just find in the in the wild like that there's not really a point because it's going to cost us a lot of resources and also uh the, the thing that we're going to get is just a sigil stone aha there's one over there too um a sigil stone that does scale with your level so since we're kind of a low level we want to wait until we're a higher level before we start going for the uh the sigil stones because they're going to have more powerful effects Okay, let's just see if we can spot any, anywhere. What is happening? I'm getting like, oh, wow, we're at the edge of the world. Look at that. They put a Nern root at the edge of the world? Those sons of bitches. Okay, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will do something entirely different. And I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.